name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, visually blinds in hero mode. Did I say hero mode already? I don't know. Um, the last episode, we finished exploring the Great Sea, I believe. I'm 100% sure because uh, I have a little bit of a secret to tell you guys. I haven't recorded this. Uh, the last time this, this file was loaded up was April 28th. And when I'm recording this episode, that was a few weeks in advance, it's, it's August 23rd. Just to give you guys some reference to how far in advance I record sometimes. Once again, I always feel the need to explain, not because, like, you know, um, well, actually, I don't really, can't really think of a reason why someone might want it. Well, and, well I, the main reason I record so far in advance is because I love recording a lot. So whenever I'm, like, bored, I'm like, eh, yeah, I feel like recording, let's record some, and... <laughs> Sometimes you just record four minutes in advance, apparently, of a single series. Whoa, look at this potion guy. Like, <laughs> he looks like he's high on some drugs. Anyways, this episode, which I was initially going to do as um, post-commentary, but I figured I might as well do it as not post-commentary because that's silly. Uh, we're going to talk to Zanari over here. We're going to do the Zanari flower side quest. Yes, yes, yes. It is another fine day. Is it not? Days like this are, the, are best spent shopping. And so we're gonna buy a town flower from him. Town flower, a flower from the town of Bright Smiles, uses it to decorate the town with joy. So let's buy it. My dear, thank you so very much. And I mean, that's very insignificant. But you guys remember, if we talk to him over here, I'm not gonna do it again because he talks forever. But he has a long life dream of, um, of, of wanting to have a huge flower shop. And the only way he's going to get new flowers is if he goes to new countries. However, how is he supposed to go to new, like, countries? Or not really countries, but new locations in the world and get new wares if he needs to run a store and make a business? Well, that's where we come in. So we have to go find travel merchants that walk around the world. Um, and trade through them. So I believe we actually already had a town flower in our delivery bag. But uh, I figured it would just be best to just kind of pretend like I didn't have it just so we could buy it and, like, have a bit of an actual start here. But anyways, look at the little great fish aisle over here. Woo! And, uh, like I said, I was gonna, I was initially gonna post-commentate this episode and just record all and cut out things that don't really matter. Wow, it actually puts me really far away from the island. Holy crap. But, you know, I was like, you know what? Um, we might as well just... Um, oh, yeah, I forgot when we get close to the island. We, our boat goes really slow for some reason. <laughs> I figured I might as well just do this... Uh, Without post commentary, I have three Tingle Balls now. I'll, I'll read those all in a bit. Maybe I'll just collect a whole bunch, because we're going to be sailing a lot in this episode. Maybe I'll just collect a whole lot of them, and then read them all at the end of the episode. Does that sound fun? Yeah, I bet it does. You see, there's this mystical curio that I've been seeking for ages now. It's called the Shop Guru Statue. It is said to be the statue of the most incredible of men. A man who has long reigned at the top of the business world. But why would you have that habit? I've heard that there are traveling merchants on Mother and Child Isle and Bomb Island. I wonder if either of these guys might have it. Aww. Well, some might just trade them with the most excellent item to me. I would offer them a heart-filling reward in return. Interesting he says that because you don't actually give the shop guru statue to him. Yeah, I see we did already have a town flower. You give it to the shop guru. Uh, what? Hmm, maybe I'll have to come back over here actually and give it to him. Huh? That's a town flower, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for a sea flower? A sea flower? Most worthy. Then my fee will be... Well, I suppose 20 rupees will do. <gasps> 20 poopies? Wow, I just realized I don't have the maximum amount of money. Where'd my 500 rupees go? Huh. Thanks, that settles things. I'll give you your item as promised. Hold out both hands. We did it. We got a sea flower. The scent of the sea wafts from the delicate petals of this flower from an exotic far off land. We place it. Oh, yeah, it just tells you how to place in things. So by trading your goods for my goods, we formed a merchant's oath. As such, from now on, I honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island shop. How, you ask? Why, my good pal, the postman, will take it there for me, so it will likely get there before you do. Just head back to Windfall and see it for yourself. Wow, what a cop-out. <laughs> Thanks again. Okay. And so, stupidly enough, <laughs> we trade them again. You'd be like, huh? That's... No way, a sea flower! Holy crap! And they say the same text over and over again. So now it's going to give us an exotic flower. Oh, feel me. 25 rupees. Huge deal. Holy crap. Alright, like I said, they do the same text over and over again. And see, this is where things get complicated. Because every flower you offer a merchant, they'll offer you 
two two different f or no they'll offer you one other flower in return oftentimes the farther you get into the side quest because there's 13 flowers in total in this including like actually 12 flowers right or it might be 12 or 13 flowers let's just let's just say that in total here so um as such when you offer a flower like let's say if, actually maybe we should even do that just to give an example here if we offer him this sea this exotic flower again i believe he'll just offer me the sea flower again right yeah, see this. Oh, I almost hit sure. See, we already have that flower, right? So he doesn't have anything that he'll trade that for that he sees as equal value. So what we're going to need to do next is go to Bomb Islands. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know where Bomb Island is. Uh, can I see it in the map? Not really. One second, you guys. Alrighty, I'm back. Okay, so Bomb Island is actually one square north of the Forest Haven. By the way, the way I'm doing this flower quest is I just, I just looked it up online. Because, yes, I could... Oh, what the heck I could um, just kind of wander around the sea effort or F using a whole bunch of effort trying to figure out where the heck all these guys are what the best route is but it probably would have taken a lot more time I actually did start to do that to be honest I uh, care okay, face I don't want to face south I want to face north that's not north yet is that north that's north there you go uh, I did initially start um, making my own routes but it got really complicated really quickly and I was I did not want to sit there forever trying to figure out what the heck uh, hold on. Okay, so it's a bit more to the left. Okay, it's that little smudge of island over there I, I didn't really find it worth it to sit there and figure out for ages What the best route would be so instead I'm just using a guide <laughs> All the guy tells me is the quickest route which is 13 steps if you include when you buy the town flower from um from the town, from the mer merchant at, uh, from Zunari in Windfall, and also when you, eventually at the end of this quest, we go back to, oh, he's over there, oops. And eventually when we go back to Zunari at the end of the side quest. So if you don't include those, there's really only 13 steps. So yay, let's collect another Tingle Bottle. Oh boy, I wonder if we're gonna have any fantastic artwork at the end of this. Uh, <laughs> go through all the trees! Okay, it's really nice when you train the flower and it stays in your slot. Here's another merchant. Huh? Well, that's... No way! Would you be interested in that for... Sickle Moon Flower. Oh, I, I really like... It's not even a really... It's not really even a flower, though. It's weird how um, often, very quickly, they, like, run out of flower ideas, apparently. Oh, you know what? I haven't been reading these, have I? This flag of a bright, bright crescent moon is quite fancy. Find a place to play there. Use a delivery. Blah, 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 blah. A merchant's oath. Holy crap. All right, next up, we're going to be going to... <gasps> Whoa, I, me I messed up. I messed up already. I was supposed to go to Mother and Child Island. Oh, no. Wait, what happens when we do this? I should start this episode over. Will you give me an exotic flower again? No, I don't want to do this because it's going to really mess me up. Dang it. Okay, you know what? Okay, I'm back. So I kind of messed up a little bit. Uh, it's okay. We're back over here actually to rebuy a flower. So let's go over here. And what I'm gonna want to do? Oh, oh, he's telling me things. Alas, my humble son has, has the appearance of a full-fledged star. My dear, your unflagging dedication has strengthened my determination to live the up my life as a success of my business. Master, I thought you said in my car for a second. I was really confused. You're the savior of my stall. I must take you from the bottom of my heart. My most prized possession, next to my hoodie, of course, is none other than the Zunari family treasure. Please accept it. What the heck? What? You got the magic armor. Use your rupees to create a barrier around you that protects you from enemy attack. What the heck? Seriously? You won't expend rupees unless you take damage from the enemy or the hazard. What the heck? I this what? It's the only heirloom I bought with. I brought with me when I moved here from my hometown. Well, excluding the lovely sale you purchased from me of earlier, of course. It was a magical heirloom, one that calls of a mysterious power to protect your body from harm. Of course, you can use it even when you are sailing the open seas. Really? I didn't know that. My dear, please, use it to protect yourself as you seek out more merchants. I beg of you. And please, be on the constant lookout for new and exciting products. Not that I have anything left to reward you with if you find any. Yeah, you do. Oh, you know what? Maybe when the... Sh when the the salesman that we were talking to before. Oops. Don't look at me. Look at my products. If you're shopping for a chit chat, you can do that at the reception set counter. 
So we're actually gonna rebuy this exotic flower. Try to do this quickly so I could actually get on with it. So yeah, you'll see his stall is extended to two things though. I believe it, it eventually ends up at three. So that's cool. So yeah, um, my blunder isn't too bad though because this next salesman we're supposed to go to, we're actually just skipped out on one flower by accident. So once we get this next flower, we'll actually we'll just be right on our way again as if nothing happened, thankfully. So I'm gonna go over here. I mean, by over here, I mean. See, the thing is, one of the merchants at Mother and Child Isle, so we're like, oh, that's perfect. You could just teleport there. Well, not really, because what you gotta do is you gotta, you gotta sail there. It's really stupid. It might have just been worth it just to sail there from Windfall, to be honest. But whatever. Yeah, I did not know that for some reason, um, you get the magic armor as soon as maybe you get two flowers for him. That seems weird, though. Huh? Interesting. All right, where this Mother and Child Isle? Where is it? I don't see it. I see Great Fish Isle. I see the God's Tower. I don't know where it is. That way, apparently. Oh, I see it now. Duh. All right, let's actually try this out because I've never tried this before. Ooh, it looks really pink in here. In the last, in the original game, it looked really purple for some reason. Oh, it should have been on the down arrow to be honest. Oh, there we go. Yeah, if you look, I have a little purple glimmer glamour on me. If you look, my rubies. Oh, never mind. My, my rupees never go down. Oh, you know, I'm thinking of Twilight Princess. Whenever you get hit, I believe, is when it makes your rupees go down. So you're essentially wearing magic armor. Every time you get hit, your rupees go down. I just explained it like two times in a row for whatever reason, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's not a big deal. Hey, look, you can see the Forsaken Fortress in the back over there. It looks like just a tree. That's cool. It looks more. It looks more like a tree fortress than uh, the Deku place does. Uh, the Forest Haven. The Deku place. What is this? What is this? Oh, there's another message in Appa. Oh, it automatically turns off too. Really? Doesn't even use your magic? I thought at least used your magic. But yeah, when I was saying before. I was saying of Twilight Princess. In Twilight Princess, you also get like a magic armor that uh, it's constantly depleting your rupees, which makes more sense. And I'm kind of surprised they didn't change that for this game either. All right, so here's the merchant we actually missed over here. So, if we, oops, not, no, delivery bag. If we go in here and pull up the exotic flower that I had before, and we go, hello, he's gonna give us a flower we never got. An exotic flower, right? I guess would you be interested in that for a pinwheel? Uh-huh, 55 rupees. Well, that doesn't look too great, what? That squares us. All right, so you'll see we got a pinwheel. The wheel on it, on it spins while well, it catches puffs of air. It's kind of fun. <laughs> place it in delivery bag. Place it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and now we would take this or this pinwheel back to Great Fish Isle. Yeah, Great Fish Isle. And then he would trade us for the sickle flag. So, th that's, that's all done now. Everything's all squared off, thankfully. And then I believe... And then we come back here and we trade it back to him. Huh? Why that's... A sickle moon flag, right? Girl! You be sure to trade that for a big catch flag. What? Girl, that's wiggity wiggity whack, yo. Yeah, I'll do that. 85. I don't think it looks kind of old. It's only 85 rupees. What a butt head. What a bottle head. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now we got a big catch flag. A big catch flag. Now. Great fish isle. Great fish isle. We're actually getting close to the end of this already, which is good. Well, kind of good. Uh, this guy. We'll be dealing with this soon, you guys. Probably next up. Well, that's not true. That blue chew just reminded me that we also need to do that. I'm also missing another piece of heart that I did not realize until I loaded this up this game file. Let me tell you, I have a list of all the pieces of heart that I manually writ, uh, wrote out. And I started updating it. What I'll normally do is whenever I'll collect heart pieces, just in case I won't cross them out in my list till I edit the episode. Well, I stopped doing that. I don't like episode 20. I just kind of forget about it, and then it just never happens. I'll edit episodes, and I don't cross anything else. So I had some things crossed out, but for the most part, I'm like, I have no idea what her piece I'm missing. So I'm just looking through the um, the list, trying to figure out what the heck did I not get. And then it turned out, the uh, Bomb Island. No, not Bomb Island. Rock Spire Island, I think. Oh, no! I know, I could have actually did a maneuver there where you jump. Wow, look at all these freaking bottles, man. Where you jump and then you like do a quick turn. Yeah, it turned out I missed. 
a random piece of heart you get by destroying random warships at Rockspire Island, so I'll have to do that as well. I probably... I don't know if I'm going to do the Deku side quest next or if I'm going to do the Blue Chews next. I don't freaking know. Alright, here we go. Huh? That's... A big catch flag, is it not? Uh, heck yes. Found an idol. Ooh, look at that cute girl. <laughs> Looks kind of like the item you're offering is kind of dirty, so how about 65 rupees? Okay. Alright, here we go! You got a fountain aisle. This is a strange statue of a girl carrying water. It's not really strange. I mean, I guess, well, I guess it is kind of a weird thing to call a flower, but okay. How, you ask? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so now, I, do I trade this guy again? I do trade this guy again. Which is weird. Er, at least come out of this way to show me this, but I only trade three times per day. So sorry, business is four-fifths effort. But overdoing it is no good for anyone. That's what, what my pops always said. Weird, I've never seen that message before. No, no! What? Okay, I didn't... Okay, I didn't want to trade you my, my precious wind... Oh, good lord, my freaking power just flickered. That's scary. That's very scary. Uh, wait, what am I doing here? No, I want to I want to pass the night. Sorry, I got really distracted there. <laughs> Song of Passing. I wonder if I'll to play this twice or not. We are getting close to the end of this, you guys. <clears throat> Whoa, I like fell from the sky there. Will you trade me this now, please, with your freaking crazy shirt? Why, that's... I mean, huh, that's... Skull Tower Idol. Ooh, that thing looks creepy. Look at that freaking thing with jutting out eye sockets. What the heck, man? The colors that thing you're offering have faded most terribly. There are no colors! It's a statue! It's a stone statue, and it's your own wares! Are you telling me you traded me horrible wares? Good lord, man. It's made of the fossilized skulls of strange creatures. It's pretty weird. It is pretty weird. Hey, there's a bubble on it. I never noticed that. It's a weird looking bubble, but it's definitely a bubble. A bubble bubble. Till the very next day. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, so looks like. Next up, we're going to be going back to Mother and Child Island. We're actually already done with Bomb Island. Oh, I swam the wrong way, didn't I? Where the heck do I... Oh, it's over this way. Oopsies. No. Ten tingle bottles. That's funny. I don't know what the number max is out to. I bet it's like 99. 99. Oh, no, it is 10. That's a weird number. It's like if it goes to second digits, you'd think it would just go all the way up to 10. Can you only have 10? Aw, I think you can only have 10. Wait, 1, 2, 3. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I can only have ten, so we do have to read some of these. That sucks. Bidding money! I guess that's about the auction. So sad. Well, freaking heal your grandma, man. We already had a message like that. Oh, my grandma. What creepy eyes you have. No wonder you wear glasses. Who is that? That's not grandma. Oh, grandpa. Oh, my. Who is that? I'm unsure who that is. Show this to the guy who likes her. <laughs> she has damn sex eyes. Wasal, help me. But I am good. Okay. Little make ma here. Miss my ocarina. Aw, sorry. Uh. Partly cloudy with a chance of meanness. Yeah. Alright, there we go. All ten have been red. We have, ten we have two blue chew jelly? That makes me very sad. Very sad indeed. Jeez. Okay, so now mother and child aisle. So, uh, you know, it actually probably just would have been best just to sail north. Like all the time, I wasted there freaking playing that song. Look, you can even see mother and child aisle in the back down there. Dang it! I totally should have just sailed to it. I would have been there five minutes ago. Okay, maybe not five minutes ago, but still. All right, here we go. We're getting close, you guys. I can feel it. I can feel me money on me head. I don't know what. I don't know. I tried to make a Mr. Krabs reference. Didn't work out too swell. This way. There we go, over there. No, I'm gonna hit the. Uh, I was gonna say I'm gonna hit that useless tornado of useless Oskity, but no, it's not. It's, it doesn't move. It just stays there forever. Hmm. If only they move and terrorized me. <laughs> it's actually more difficult to hit those than to avoid them, to be honest. Which is weird. You'd think like an obstacle like that would be more intimidating, but it's really not. Hmm. Mm. So we're probably only have like after this episode, we probably only have two more episodes till we go to the final dungeon of the game, which is weird. 
It's my favorite game. It's gonna be really sad. This is this is one of my let's plays. I've always wanted to play since like the beginning of when I made, had the like thought of doing a let's play, and it's really sad to me that's almost over. Oh, actually, actually that that makes me feel very very sad. Not just sad, but very very sad. I'm emotional. Let's just see what this guy says without trading him. What's called? Oh, okay, he just tells me. All right, yeah, we've already we've already said that stuff to him. I was gonna go back to Bomb Islands. We're not going there again, like I said. So I was gonna go back to him and see if he had any unique text, but no, he won't. Big sale, Flay. Yeah, you have a big sale. Most agreeable. My fee will be. 30. Oh, a cheap deal for us. Great. So that actually the the prices they charge they are not random. Uh, this flag looks like it would be definitely be good for business. Uh, the prices they give you aren't random. They are always the same whenever you talk to them. Thanks again. Where do we go now? Do we trade them again? Uh oh. Alrighty. Okay. So we have only two more places to go. Great Fish Islands. Great Fish Island again. And then this place. And then that's it. Ew. Do we see this? Yeah, it's pretty gross. Pretty freaking disgusting. I don't even know why I went to that menu. I don't have to do that to play my Wind Waker. It's already on my screen, silly. Alright. Jump in there. But yeah, we only have... The Blue Chew episode, which is definitely going to be a standalone episode. With uh, post-commentary. Uh, well, should I do that next episode? I'm not sure. Hmm. Maybe I should do that because I'm not... I don't think... The remainder of the things I have to do, which is go get that heart piece I was talking about earlier with the warships that I thought was stupid and really random and out of nowhere. And then we have to do the um, the withering tree thing with, you know, all the Dekus. Why are there so many rings of light here all of a sudden? I don't remember these being here before. Though it makes sense because it destroyed the island, so it is a pretty good opportunity for all these treasures to be falling to the ocean. But, uh, yeah... After, after that, like, that's all. That would probably only take, like, 10 minutes. Well, probably, more like, 15 minutes. Which, I guess, is a fair-sized episode. Ah, uh, Hero's Flag! Yeah! Look at the swords on that. And it was in need of repair. 75 rupees. What? How? Gosh darns you. Ooh, they got the Hero's Flag. This flag has a rather courageous feel to it. Find a place to put it. <laughs> Delivery bag and stuff. Yup. Okay, so now we trade this guy again. Then we go to the Mother and Child Island. That's it. So yeah, it, when I, I said earlier in this episode that I don't know how like we don't give the statue guru thing to this guy, but we actually do. Um, postman statue, which is weird because it's like how the heck would you figure that out? And then my fee will be one hundred rupees. What? It's your own freaking thing, asshole. Well, maybe it's maybe he's charging me extra because he doesn't want to have it again. This is the carving of the Rito postman, hero of all the Ritos and a symbol of laborers, the world over. Why they just fly? <laughs> All right, now I believe we go. Thanks again. No problem. No problem. Boom, 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 boom. Now we just go to. I feel like we're missing things. You know what? Let's let's try my let's test my theory here of just sailing due north. See what happens. And... See, it's gonna be unfortunate. Wait, where's my child island? No, the map. Not sure how, how they got this. Uh, that, that's... That, that's a special... Oh, no. See, we're not even going the right way. We need to go this way. Right? Oh, maybe this was a bad idea. I can't even see the island from here. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, 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 back. Ugh, you always go so slow near the islands. Walk up here very slowly, of course. Roll for a bit of extra speed. And here we go. If I did this correctly, this guy should give me the shop guru statue. I'm not sure if I did it, though. I feel like this isn't the second last thing. The shop guru statue! Yay! Look at him. Look at it. Tsunari. There's even a little plaque on it. It's most agreeable than my fee will be. Yeah, that, this is super rare. So, 200 rupees. Totally gnarly, dude. Thanks. That squares us. All right, and that's really it. Well, that's not completely true. This little statue is the apple of every businessman's eye. It's weird that they talk about like him being the tip top of the business world when like this entire side quest is about building his business, and like the merchant talks about that before. Um, 
the merchant talks about that before. Like he even has a, a has like a real big business. So it's really weird and strange, and I don't understand it personally. But that's okay. Uh, so now we want to go back to Great Fish Isle. Quick link. Whoa, his sword's through his face. God dang it, no clipping. I just, I've talked about this before, but I really don't understand how that's still an issue in today's games. Uh, a lot of people say it's well, it's because of the way the gaming engine works. But seriously, like, the world has overcome, in like, the gaming world, I should say, has overcome many more issues than that. I don't know, it's just really strange to me how that is still an issue of all things. Like, why do clothes, even like cutscenes and all that, clothes still clip through human bodies and like especially when there's like a like if it's like a person with a sword and a cape the cape will always clip through the sword and it's really weird and i don't understand <laughs> please explain to me all right show this guy the shop guru statue is is that couldn't be the shop guru statue such a divine figure surely this is none other than the legendary individual who reigns the peak of the business world oh most worthy day wow my lifelong dream has at last come true such joy this is my thanks for you fulfilling my dream. It is a heart-filled reward, brimming with gratitude. All right, hold out your hands. It's his penis. Oh, it's a piece of heart. My, but I've received a worthy item. Tonight, I will hold this close to my bottom bosom as I sleep. <laughs> I can't wait. My bottom as I sleep. He's going to like, you know what? I'm not going to even finish that sentence. I really want, well, no, I don't want that bottle because we're already at freaking 26 minutes, at least according to my timer. Like I always say, it's probably off by a little bit, especially as much as like as I've, I've cut in this episode and fast forwarded and, and, and such. If I even fast forward the sailing ship ship here, I might have just cut it out. Wow, look at that freaking glitchy ass barrel. Oh, but it's nighttime, so I'm also gonna have to change it back to day. Gosh dang it! Oh, I saw that beam of light and thought it was about to become sunrise, but no. Even though what, even if that were true, it wouldn't really even matter because, um. Like dawn and all that, like time stays still, so I wouldn't change. I wouldn't change our gosh dang thing. What? Oops. Wouldn't change our gosh dang thing. Sorry, I keep forgetting the song. It's been a while. Like I said, you guys, last time I played this was April 28th, apparently. Which is crazy. Alright, I see a little speck in my window, and I think it's a spider. I don't like spiders. I don't want to go and even see what it is. <laughs> All right, let's go up here really quickly. Whoa! This town looks so fancy now. There's even a little sign here. What do you say? Yeah, we've we've done this successfully. Like the skull tower bounces apparently, which is a weird thing. Of all the things in here, you'd think maybe like that fountain statue might have an animation, like water dripping out or something. But no, it's the skull tower it just bounces around. Who knows why? It's a mystery to everybody. Wow. How much is your shop guru statue? Out of curiosity, do you say anything special now too? I love action help. Yes, he says another fine day. Is it not? This is the best spent shopping. Two hundred rupees. The pride of all <laughs> of all merchants. Took the town with me. Well, we do have a lot of rupees. I could spend a bunch of money on those for no reason. Let's see if he says anything else. If I go over here. Yeah, it would have been better if I didn't actually mess up that train side quest and actually like, came here to last and talked to him. It would have been a bit more. Really look, my my face doesn't even go over that. You can just see the top of my head. Yes, this is my fine sir. Seem to be quite good spirits, and why not? Thanks to you, my shop has become quite fine, quite fine indeed. Dear me, yes. That's it, really. No, thank you for making your business seriously the top of the world. Ah. The sign up there above my head. <laughs> All right, in the next episode, we will do. You know, what? let's do the. Well, nah. You know what? I'm gonna say screw it. We're gonna do the tree side quest, a withered tree side quest. We're also gonna get a heart piece from this guy. And what's the other thing? There's one more. Oh yeah, the the stupid rock, the stupid rock spear heart piece as well that I missed before. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like on this video and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Um, if you have any games you want to see me play, there's also a link in the description, the top link in the description actually, where you can click on a video and you could comment the vi uh, games you want to see me play. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. You can clip through the world and see crazy things when I do that. See the blue at the bottom of the screen. Wait. Oh, it's not going to work again now, is it? No. Fine. There we go. You guys saw it. You see it? Sometimes. Bye.